Welcome back. Nothing says summer quite like a good salad. So this afternoon, Carolyn Piguet from Piguet's Primetime is back here with us in the Air Comfort Solutions kitchen to make a fresh, cool cucumber and onion salad. Yeah. Welcome back, Carolyn. Thanks. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. I, uh, we were just talking a little bit. Cucumbers are in abundance right now because mm -hmm. it's one of those things they do. The heat does bother them, but as long as you keep them watered and have a little bit of shade on them, they'll produce and they like the heat, so they put yeah. on a lot. A lot of times people have have a lot more than they know what to do with yeah and you can only eat so many of them so I'm going to give you something that you can do with them to give them a little bit of a diversity it sounds like this time around probably since that might be the only crop that yeah. survives a lot of gardens exactly things are, are hard right now I just I just had a little bit of a comparison this is called a burpless type uh, a burpless. cucumber and okay. for those people like myself that that bothers this is a nice alternative to that and this is just like a straight eight conventional you can look and see that the difference in the seeds or the distribution in the seeds this has very very little seed capacity. I think that one's more appealing. Yeah, this one is and it's easier to cook with and it's great to pickle. These are fine you just have to get them when they're very small. Do they taste the same? They taste the same. Okay. They really do. But what we're going to make with them today is just like a, a real simple pickling uh, sauce uh -huh. and then we're going to soak that in that and what it does is it just changes that bitterness a little bit of the cucumber. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit uh, sweeter. It kind of blends the onion flavor in with that so it's a real nice addition. Yeah. Uh, this is something my grandma mother made, my mother made. It's a really an older recipe yeah. uh, and I, I put it in the restaurant two weeks ago and it was just everybody said well my grandma made that recipe yeah. or my mama used to make that recipe so anyway it's, it was very well very, very well received. And you said this is something because I'm not a cucumber person at all I find them quite repulsive actually. I like <laughs> right. the onions though but this is something you said I might like. Yes, I think it, it's, it's one of those things because I'm not real high on cucumbers either, but yeah. I love this because it gives it a different flavor and it's, it's not quite like a pickle. It's a little milder than that, but it's much better than just a raw cucumber in my in yeah. my books. Oh wait, how do we get there? Okay, it's simple ingredients. We take a half a cup of vinegar, white vinegar because we don't want any coloring. We take a half a cup of water, two teaspoons of salt or two teaspoons of sugar and then just uh, like a teaspoon or a clove of garlic and add some salt and pepper so it's a super simple you know yeah. uh, solution stuff and we then, all should have at home and at then least. we just put these in here and we just let them soak they're best if they could soak like overnight and be partially covered and then we can just you know let that kind of absorb all that mm -hmm. if you want to do these where they make a really nice presentation I use a mandolin uh, to cut them with, oh. and it's real easy. A mandolin. <laughs> yeah. Not the instrument. Not the, the instrument. The cooking one. The, the cooking <laughs> one, but you do have to be careful because you get to the end and it is, is very sharp. Yeah. But it gives you these nice rings, and it gives you this nice chip. And so that's something that we try to kind of do with that. But this is uh, this particular recipe if you want to do cucumbers and onions you can do that if you want to take red onions and just put them in there you can pickle that you mm -hmm. can pickle almost anything with this and it's good on sandwiches it's good uh, you know with meats or whatever yeah. and so. it gives it a sweeter taste mm -hmm. in the end gives, okay. uh -huh, yeah it's got that sugar nice. in there and it just gives it a nice blend so we might not know it's cucumbers <laughs> if we don't like them <laughs> i can't guarantee you i think you're you're very much an anti-cucumber person I so am, I don't but know it'll I can make it that. taste <laughs> edible better yeah. at least exactly. all right carolyn thank you so much we appreciate it as always if you're interested in this cucumber onion salad, you can check it out and other recipes over at newson6.com slash recipes. Brian? All right.